Okay, right now we will go to the post processing uh, and uh, oh no, wait, uh, we will have to create one because in the assignment I will ask you for creating one manual combination or several manual combinations to check if the automatic combinations which we created will be uh, enough uh, good. Uh, so let's create the manual combination. Let's go for the loads manual combination and here click OK. And in the manual combination, you can create, uh, you have a database of your combinations of your load cases, and you can just create your own. So if you just drag DL1, which is self-weight to the right, you see that it's multiplied by 135, and you can add another one, uh, that load. And we want to create, uh, for example, a load case, which will be the worst for this beam over here. So let's uh, check i think let's uh, take this this and this uh, panels fully loaded and wind so let's take a uh, live load two and let's uh, move it here let's take a uh, live load five and uh, take it here and snow two and wind and then i click apply and you see uh no with one i have uh, wrongly taken uh, the load i think it's the live load number five i will just take it click apply and i will take live load number uh, six and click apply yeah right now i have uh, three live loads and uh, that load uh, from the whole structure and the wind and the snow and this should be pretty bad uh, combination for this uh, forces in this uh, column. If we click close, we will see that this combination has been added here uh, on the 16th position as a combination number one. If I run the calculation, yeah, then um, uh, I will uh, see the forces in the structure. Let's click uh, FX. It's uh, when you go for the uh, results, results, and then you will have this one. Uh, this uh, we know, then go for the parameters, labels, and field. Click apply. And you will see that this combination number 16 give you 153 uh, kilonewtons when the ULS code combination, uh, which is uh, calculated from the automatic combinations, will give you, mm, wait a moment, a little bit uh, less, or maybe not even a little bit less, but uh, sometimes it's a much smaller number. And the question is why it's happening like that? Uh, yeah, it gives 115 compared to 153, and it was just a first shot with not fully uh, loaded structure. We see that 115 it's smaller. Then uh, what is the problem? If we go for the um, tools and job preferences and go for the loads uh, code combination, which were used for the calculating the automatic combinations, we see that for the live loads, he is using equation from the uh from the uh, if i open right now the euro code uh, which is exactly this it's uh, en 190 200 2002 and i go for the page uh, 52 and i maybe do like that then you see that we have exactly the same uh, combination, the same equations, uh, because uh, if I go down and uh, we see that if we have uh, a force, designing force, and uh, we have a lot of uh, combination, then it's not reasonable to, to uh, obtain that all of the loads will be multiplied with the maximal safety factor. So if we are doing uh, combinations, uh, I will just find this table. Um, no, yeah, I will 
just find this table with the moment. Um, um, then when you have a lot of uh, um, uh, different uh, loads in one combination, then it's not reasonable to make them with the maximum uh, safety factor. You can uh, decrease uh, this safety factor. Uh, yeah, it's here. And you see that, for example, for the category A uh, building, uh, which it's domestic resident areas, which we are designing right now, uh, or we assume we are designing, we can uh, decrease the multiply factor by 0 0.7. And this 0 0.7 uh, in the uh, which goes uh, here, you see it's multiplied by 1.5. It means that uh, when you multiply 1.5 by 0 0.7, you will have 1.05. And it's much less than um, it comes from uh, this. And for example, when you go for the uh, load table or combination table, uh, you see that, uh, or maybe not here, I will show you something maybe different because uh, here it's the linear combination. You see that it's getting maximum uh, of the factors for the uh, combination uh, uh, safety factor for the every part uh, of the loads. So when we go for the loads and for the mm, for example when we are designing. Uh, Go still members design and we run the calculations. And then you will see that, for example, when I am clicking here, he's uh, oh, right now he choose 16 combination, but if you we go for the 33 and we see that he take 155, 155, and for the rest he was using 105. So you right now know that according to the euro code, you should. If you are doing a big uh, combination, you should uh, multiply uh, the safety the degree safety factors by the numbers from the table. Number uh, A11. Uh, okay, this is a shortcut. So I will just close it, uh, cancel. And uh, if I go for the loads and the manual combinations and uh, check here, I should do it. I should this one get back and create them with the proper 105 uh, factor. So if I go to the live load, then I can here type 105 uh, and uh, live loads uh, 6, 105, and snow number 2, 105. I go for the wind uh, one more time I will show you because uh, for example um, for the snow it's 0, 07 but for the wind loads on the building uh, you should use 0, 06 0, 06 multiplied by 1.5 uh, will give you uh, 0 0.9 9 so it's even less than um, 1 uh, let's do like that and click apply yes Click close and then run the analysis one more time. And go for the combination number 16. And we have 115 right now. And from the ULS. Second, uh, it's start to be heavy task, so he needs to recalculate. Um, we have uh, 115.85, so we find this uh, number. Okay. Then uh, you know how to create manual combinations. Uh, you will have a little bit different element to and forces to find, but create a free uh, manual combination to prove me that uh, you understand how to create manual combinations. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the end of the pre-processing for sure.